Our next patient is a 66-year-old man with a past medical history of kidney transplantation, severe COVID, type 2 diabetes, and arterial hypertension. He developed six months ago dysphagia after each meal. The barium swallow study showed a 30 millimeter upper third esophageal diverticulum. Manometry was not feasible due to a blockage in this diverticulum. He is scheduled today for an endoscopic septotomy of the diverticulum and we shall join Dr. Devier and Huberti for the procedure. Which is the, the AMBU single use uh, gastroscope. And if you have the endoscopic image, you see that I already went to the esophagus. Show you when coming back uh, the entrance of the diverticulum, which is uh, usually around 20. 20. And here you see that this is the diverticulum, which is not very large. It's there. I will not go in because my wire is uh, towards the, the esophagus. So I go back inside the esophagus and I will try to position uh, the diverticuloscope. See, this is the usual diverticuloscope that you have already seen probably many times with a small posterior flap. This flap aims to be placed into the diverticulum and the long one uh, aims to go alongside the endoscope inside the esophagus. So what we have seen is that I was just advancing, using the, the endoscope as a wire, a big wire, I was just gently advancing the, the diverticuloscope while keeping my finger on the posterior side because I want always to know where is the posterior side of the diverticuloscope, so we will see if we have been lucky or not. So I'm pulling back. When I will be at two, around 20 centimeters, I will be ready to see the distal part, the long flap. The long flap is there, you see. And I think that maybe we have been uh, lucky. Stay like that. You'll see that the role of the assistant is very important. So now we have just in front of us the cricopharyngeal muscle. We have, uh, we have a relatively uh, nice view. Yeah. I can measure a little bit the size. So this is uh, probably 2, 2.5 centimeter. And then I will start the cut. I'm using a blade, uh, which is what we prefer. It's a blade from Endoflex, but we have also we can use also a Zimon needle, but if you use a Zimon needle, we should use a pure cut. So the, the role of the, the assistant, and uh, Brigitte is doing that, is to keep the, the, the diverticuloscope in position. And of course, the patient is in general anesthesia to be sure that he will not move uh, at that time. So now I just will start my cut you see the, the contraction of the cricopharyngeal muscle. The nice thing is that the, the, the anterior wall of the esophagus is protected by the, by the diverticuloscope, so I'm not so anxious about the risk of damaging the contralateral part of the mucosa. Then I will go from the esophagus And the setting is endocut cube? It's endocut E. I use the same for okay. the sphincterotomy. Okay. So, so the, the role of the clips, as you mentioned, are, 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 are three things. So one is, in case of bleeding, we will do an hemostasis. We will further increase by pressure necrosis the size of the section. And of course, especially in a small diverticulum like this one, where we have a risk of opening the mediastinum, we will close the mediastinum. You see, this, is, this will probably be my last cut. I start from the esophagus. I will go, I will go down there. I see, Jack, you, you are cutting from 12 to 6 and to 6 to 12 in the both di direction. I think it's very important to have a symmetric uh, uh, incision. And now I am using uh, in 
instinct clip from uh, Cook. Clip. So, from so you, you see that uh, Jacques uh, gently asks to the assistant to hold firmly the, the diverticuloscope. You have to prevent any rotation or any uh, movement uh, uh, down or uh, up. Uh, this is very important because if you lose the flap at this time, you lose completely your cut and you cannot put the clip. Yes, of course, uh, Willie is used to work with me, but he was not completely opening the clip while I was yeah. advancing. Exactly. Yeah. He was uh, opening it partially, and then finally when I grasped the two sides, mm. then he opened it fully uh, before to, to grasp the tissue. So if you are uh, using a, a 16 millimeter clip, you have to, to close partially the clip. Close. Exactly. And uh, As you can see. Wha what is the uh, c delayed complication rate after this procedure? Yep. Uh, we have now treated more than 600 patients, and oh. the, we had only a real severe complication. At the beginning of our experience, when we were not placing clips at the end of the procedure, this was a mediastinitis which had to be treated endoscopically with stent placement but no, no surgery finally, but the patient has been hosp hospitalized for 30 days. Uh, Out of mm -hmm. all the, the inputs of other cases, uh, we didn't notice any severe complication. I mean severe uh, complication which requires an hospitalization of more than three to four days. We had a few uh, inflammatory syndrome uh, that have been treated by antibiotic therapy during two or three days. But this is less, much less than uh, three persons. 